Good morning. It's the 14th of November and it's Sunday and I'm producing this video to show some interesting things that I've discovered in the VAERS database. In summary, I've discovered that not all batches, not all vaccine batches are equally toxic, that most are harmless, but that about 1 in 200 of the batches are highly toxic. And I'm going to prove that to you by showing you what the VAERS data contains. Here is a pivot table which I made by combining the different tables from the VAERS database. On the left hand side we have the batch numbers, otherwise known as lot numbers, for the COVID-19 vaccines. And on the right hand side, in this column, we have the total number of adverse reactions for each batch. So this is the total number of adverse reactions for each batch. Along the top, you can see the two letter code for each of the states in the United States. And what these columns show in the between are the number of adverse reactions for a particular batch that occur in each state of the USA. So that's what the table format is. <clears throat> now we can look at the table contents. As we look down the right hand column here, which is the total number of adverse reactions for each batch, we'll notice that most of these batches only produce one or two adverse reaction reports. So most of the batches only produce one or two adverse reaction reports. In fact, 70% of the batches for the vaccine only produce one adverse reaction report in total, which means that 70% of the batches are, are harmless. In fact, 80% of the vaccine batches only produce one or two adverse reaction report, so 80% are harmless. However, as I looked down, I came across anomalies. Now, these anomalies consisted of batches that produce thousands of times the number of adverse reactions, and they are very, they stand out very distinctly from the harmless batches. Here, here is a, a couple of examples. Here is a batch number 002A21A. Now, rather than producing just one or two adverse reaction reports, as the harmless batches do, this one produced 1,394 adverse reaction reports. In addition to this, you can see that this particular batch was consistently producing adverse reactions right across all the states in the USA, which suggests that the cause of these adverse reactions isn't the personal health or demographics of the recipient. The cause of these reactions is the batch itself. In other words, the vaccine. It's the vaccine which has reached a toxic level here of 1,394 times the base rate. The base rate being defined as the um, number of adverse reactions produced by the majority of the batches, by 80% of the batches, which is one or two. It's, this is 1,394 times that. And it's producing adverse reactions consistently across every state. And as we look down, we'll see that these 
Tox, highly toxic batches are not infrequent. Here's another one, 1,099 times the base rate. 1,012 times the base rate. And each time we can identify these toxic batches visually by the fact that they create a string of numbers right across the screen, showing that they are affecting people in every state wherever they are deployed, wherever they are um, dispensed. And these toxic batches occur at a regular frequency, interspersed between the harmless batches. The actual frequency of batches with a toxicity between 1,000 and 5,000 times the base rate, the actual frequency of those batches is 1 in 200. So there's a 1 in 200 chance when you take your vaccine that you'll get a toxic batch. And these batches consistently, and I mean consistently, cause adverse reactions, hospitalizations, disabilities and death across the USA in every state. This is what they do. The harmless batches are harmless, but these batches, they cause harm.